Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bertrude. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Today we're using a build that is an absolute freaky little weirdo. He thinks he's an ant, he's got a weird obsession with insects. I try and not associate with him too much, but this is the ant man. Let's take a look at it. We have a level 30 build, we've got 35 vigor, 18 strength and 22 dexterity. Pretty simple stuff. In our flask, we're using the dex and the strength knots to boost our dex and our strength by 10. And then here's a quick look at the armour and talismans that we'll be using on the build. The main talisman being the Kindred of Rot's Exultation. The main component of this build is the Ant Skull Plate Shield. This is an awesome great shield, it's perfect for the build and obviously it inflicts poison with its Ash of War. Then our main weapon on the build is the Serpent Bone Blade Katana. This is a really underrated weapon and again it inflicts poison being the main theme on this build. Our next main weapon after this is the Shamshir and the Ash of War on that is Poisonous Mist. Really effective stuff. And then we also have the option to use a Torch Pole on this build. I don't use it too much during this video, but it is a really good weapon. Then finally in our second weapon slot to finish off the build we have the Venomous Fang Claws. And our Ash of War on that is Endure, which can be amazing at poison through incoming attacks for some big damage. And that's the build. This is the first video that I've edited together using my new PC, so please, any feedback in the comments would be greatly appreciated. Anyway guys, it's time for you lot to sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So here we go guys, we're into it. We're an ant. We're a little, uh, little scurrying ant man. He likes to scurry around all over the place and just inflict everyone with a little bit of poison. That's what we're all about today, boys. Inflicting a little bit of poison. And we're into our first invasion and we're faced with these three. And uh, you can see one of them's already tried to hit us with the Dragon Breath fire attack. And then the other guy's using the Sword of the Night and Flame. I absolutely love that sword. But it raises suspicions because I don't think at level 30 you'll be using that sword with its stat requirements. So maybe that guy's a little bit over level. We'll see, shall we? Let's see how we get on. And we take out the first summon there with the Serpent Bone Blade. Excellent weapon. We inflicted him with our poison. I injected him with all of my juicy juices. And he just couldn't take it, guys. The venom was running through his veins. And he just wanted out, as did that horse there. The Serpent Bone Blade stuck it right in his belly. And his friend here, the summon, giving us the old wiggle of justice. You've got to love an old wiggle of justice at the end of an invasion. Me and him, we could be good friends. If we met up and had a beer at the pub, we'd have a great night. We'd get absolutely smashed. And then to end the night, we'd just both wiggle our swords at each other. And that, believe it or not, is not a euphemism. I actually do mean that we'd end the night. Stood outside the pub, just wiggling in our big, metal, sharp, shiny swords at each other. And it's just the best way to end the night. And did you see that dog, by the way, come flying? into this invasion then what an absolute hero and to back it up he's brought his big old fat boy along with his big old shiny sword and he wants to fight with a summon so I'm happy for now to just sit back and watch but the host here he's come over trying to cause a ruckus like I was happy then just to sit back and watch that big old fight with that big old fat boy and his horrible nasty sword but look at them they're both just coming over trying to start something so you know what if you want to start something let's have it because I'm the, I'm the ant man and I've got a big old ant's head and I'm going to smash it in your face and I'm going to infect you with some of my poisonous juices and then you're going to have to deal with that aren't you and to back it up I've still got the fat boy fighting the summon so I can just focus on this host here and give him a horrible old time now the summon's dead in the background there the big guy just took care of the summon and now it's just the host and he's going to deal with not only me but this big monstrosity of a creaturous thing here with his horrible nasty big sword and it was just all too much for him to handle now i'm in the lakes for this invasion and i've got to do a little bit of a run to get up to where the opponents are but that's okay because i needed to work on my cardio anyway you know I'm, I'm a bit of a skinny boy here as the ant man as you can say but i've got to keep my fitness up so a bit of a run every now and then isn't a bad thing but you can see we've got another fat boy here to deal with and he's got two uh, giant curved great swords nasty nasty stuff and he's got a lot of poise he's got a lot of defense so this is a bit of a tricky one to handle but look at this oh lovely 
lovely, lovely ant's head smasher, smasher ding dong right in his big old fat face. And he's infected with a poison as well. As you, if you look at his health, you can see his health is ticking down. So even though he's a big old chunky man, he's got that big old chunky armor and a lot of defense. We're working on him, we're working on him with that poison. It's doing its job. You can see there, we've got Lord of uh, uh, Kindred of Rotus Exaltation, so we're getting some good damage boost there on the Ash of War and the Serpent Bone Blade. And we did some big damage to him. Now he's backed up and he's managed to heal, but we know, we know that we can do some good work on this guy. Believe it or not though, he's not doing the biggest damage with his sword, so at this point I'm feeling in quite, you know, I'm feeling in control, even though he's a bit of a, you know, a bit, a bit of something to deal with, like if you look at the state of him, <laughs> look at the state of him, he's a bit of something to deal with, isn't he, but it's okay guys, because I'm the Ant-Man, as I keep saying, I am the Ant-Man, and he's infected with my juices. He is infected with my juices, and look at that, the Venomous Fangs, really good weapon to have a quick swap to there, because the Venomous Fangs are very quick, they're very quick, and they're very stealthy, so we can get in, do a nice little swipe when he's at low health, and we just take him out, we take him out, and the Venom was too much for the big old chunky fat boy to handle, now it's just a horse, and he's infected with my juices as well, He's trying to heal there, but... Oh, maybe he didn't heal. I think he topped his FP up for some reason. Maybe he's out of heals, but you can see the poison has done the job. Great invasion, that one. The big guy was, uh, you know, something to work around in that invasion, but take our time, find our spots to attack, let the poison do its work. And that was, uh, yeah, really good invasion, that one. I was really pleased. Now we're back in Stormvale for this invasion. And this was another one that I was really pleased with. There's three of them in this invasion. And this one turned into a proper war of attrition. This was a really long invasion. And this is a good example of why having the PC set up that I've got now. And being able to record my invasions in a different way. Is a massive benefit for me. Before, before this video at least anyway. I made all of my videos on my phone. And that meant that when I was recording the footage. I'd record on my Xbox, so I'd record, I'd set it to record, do the invasion, but I only had four minutes for the recording and then it would cut off. And then I'd have to start the recording again, uh, mid invasion. And there's no doubt about it, guys, it definitely affected how I approached the invasions. I'd always have it at the back of my mind that the recording was going to cut off after four minutes, so maybe sometimes I'd try and rush things a little bit too much. Um, like I said, you know, it definitely did affect the way I approached the invasions. But now with the PC, I know that I can record indefinitely. And an invasion like this, it allows me to really, really take my time, find all the right opportunities to attack. I'm not in a rush because I know that the recording is just ticking along. I know there's not going to be any nonsense with it cutting off or, you know, having to start the recording again. I'm not thinking about that either consciously or subconsciously I can just focus on the invasion and it's absolutely amazing. Proper changed the game for me uh, and I think the results will speak for itself in this video and in the upcoming videos. Well let's get back to the action anyway. You can see that one of the summons there is super low health and he's absolutely terrified. He doesn't want to come anywhere near me. He's scared of the Ant-Man. I think he's got a bit of a phobia about insects. You can see how far away he's staying from me. He doesn't like the Ant and that's what I am. I'm the Ant-Man. And he knows that if he comes anywhere near me, I'm going to finish him off. Really, you know, ants are like super strong, aren't they? Like ant, an ant in proportion to its own body is like one of the strongest beings that there are in the world so really I could carry the world on my shoulders so finishing off a little summon like that I could snap him in half at ease but you could see there we switched to the venomous fangs and we inflicted one of the summons with poison and that was just enough to kill him the, the, the poison, the, the venom, the, the poison, it's, it's in his blood. It was corrupting his blood. And we finished him off. We finished him off, we took him out, and now he's rotting in the ground with all that venom and poison flowing through his veins. So now, we've got the other summon low as well, and he's clearly got no heals left. 
so it's just the same thing we've got to get him out of the picture i'm taking a lot of uh, i'm taking a lot of shots from the horse here like granted i knew at the time that i was taking too many shots so i switched to the venomous fangs pop the and jaw and give him a few little slaps across the face it's just like a get off me you know get off go home well don't go home because i want to kill you but i've just killed you summon anyway and now it's just me and you my friend so we're switching to the uh, to the sword the katana and i'm gonna i'm gonna do that work i'm gonna inflict you with my juices i'm gonna infect you and there we go the last slice on the ash of war beautiful it's just a beautiful thing guys it is just a beautiful thing and a nice little emote there at the end of the invasion just to celebrate things because that was an awesome invasion that took about eight nine minutes altogether took my time find the right spots to uh, to attack let the poison do its work as i said earlier and it was just a beautiful thing Now we're in the crystal tunnel for this invasion and I feel right at home here because ants you do usually find them underground don't you so I've come home boys I've come home my, my, my family's knocking about somewhere I called in at my mum and dad's aren't where they just live around corner in the, in the cave next door you know my cousin he lives down road in the cave like a few caves down all my family's down here this is my this is my territory all my posses down here, I've got a right little crew of ants. You know, if you mess with me too much, if you give me a bit of hassle, I'm going to call in my boys, you know. The squad, the squad's going to come in, they've got my back. The ant squad, the posse, you know. <laughs> what am I saying? What am I saying? You know what I mean, guys, I'm just saying, my like, ants still live underground, and that's where I am on this invasion. I'm in, I'm in the caves, I'm underground, so it's home territory. Oh, and you can see we've got the torch pole out, the torch pole on this one. we got the torch pole, guys, and we've just killed two summons. And now we've got that torch pole and we can go to work on the host with the torch pole. All's up in him, guys. All's up in him with that torch pole. And it's fiery little, fiery light, fire end on the torch pole. It's, it's a pole that's on fire. Um... Uh, and it's it's like a bit of a torch in it so it's the torch pole and we can stick it all up in this host ah oh, the ash of war charge forth all's up in him it's a beautiful thing this is a really good weapon i actually don't use it anywhere near enough in this video but i'm actually considering making a bit of a making a bit of a torch pole appreciation video you know just just solely use it and uh, just showcase how good it actually is because it's it's really good, it's got that length. It's not got the girth, but it's got the length. And in the torch pole's case, that is a good thing. It doesn't need girth. It doesn't need the girth because it's got a good little bit of length. And that means you can jab at people from a ways off. And uh, yeah, that's all you need, isn't it? A nice little bit of length and a nice little bit of torch. It's a torch pole, it's a good weapon. Now look at this, guys. I've climbed this ladder. And look what's waiting for me at top. <laughs> two just two naked guys just absolutely chilling at top of ladder. We've got a naked bloke and a naked naked girl there, so you know, I was a bit surprised at this. Like I didn't want to just attack straight away. I was a bit I was a bit taken back. Uh, you can tell by my reaction, I'm just like well, you know, they've both got clubs and they're, they're both naked, so I was a bit surprised and you know now I can take my time in this invasion you know I don't have to rush I'm not gonna you can see here I'm actually looking for my binoculars I wanted a closer look at some of that flesh but you know <laughs> I don't have any binoculars on this build so there's only one thing to do guys and that's join the crew let's get naked get that kit off son get that kit off and let's have a little bit of a naked fight seeing as you're naked it's the only, it's, it's just the right thing to do we're going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one fight to the death in our birthday suits. Let's get it on. We've got the serpent bone blade going head-to-head -head against the club. Uh, I think it's a standard club, or it might be this. Ah, it's a spike club, you can see. The blood build-up that he's doing on us. But I've infected him with my juices, guys. The job's done. The juices are flowing as his health is flowing down and you can see 
There you go, he accepted his fate. Just take it. Take that poison. And now his girlfriend's she she's upset. We've killed his we've <laughs> we've killed a man. We've killed the man of her life. And she's coming at us now all angry and stuff, so I've switched to the venomous fangs and I'm using that in jaw. And I'm just gonna smack her about a little bit. I'm gonna smack her about, you know, I would never hit a female, obviously. We all know that's not right, the, you know, not the right thing to do. But when she's running at you with a spike club like this woman is here, you know, it's Elden Ring, and I'm going to enjoy, and I'm going to smash her about a bit with my venomous fangs, and I'm going to inflict her, it inflict some juices all up in her with my, with my poison and my venom, and she's going to feel it, guys. It's not going to be a nice experience. I killed a, I killed a fella. And I've just killed her, and it? it was just a, a naked good old time. It was a, just a lovely old invasion. We all got naked and had a good old time. It was fun. Yeah, I don't get naked often, but I saw those two, and I was like, it's the only thing to do. I need to get naked. But I'm not getting naked for this host, because he was AFK, I think. So I thought, I'll, I'll just have a little crouch here, and I'll see what happens. And I noticed it's someone coming down to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to ignore the host for now and let's see what this summon's made of. And you never know, maybe the host will return in time to see us kill his friend. Let's see what happens. I've got to be careful of those claws that he's using. He come at us with a bit of a flurry of attacks there. And they can do some big damage. Don't forget, they're going to do the bleed build up as well. So if he gets a big, blo a big blood clock on us, sorry, that's going to do some big damage. Oh, look who's joined the party. Welcome in, my friends. Welcome to the party. Come on down. I've got plenty of poison to go around. You can have some as well if you really want some. I've got loads of juices, guys. I've just got a load of juices. And these two, they want some of my juices. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll give it to the summon here, the jump, the summon. He's got my juices. The juices are flowing. And we just finish him off. Oh, replay. Oh, sweet little replay with the venomous fangs. It's just a beautiful thing, guys. I love doing a beautiful little replay when it deserves... When it deserves a replay, I'll give you a replay, and that definitely deserved a replay. And the host is doing his best, but I've got my friend Mr. Birdie Bird Bird. And Mr. Bird, he's not a very nice guy. He's got, you know, he doesn't like these intruders in his territory, and uh, Mr. Bird is going to give it to you. He's going to make things hard. He's going to help me out, and he's going to see you off. He's going to send you home. He's not a very nice person. In fact, he's not even a person. He's an animal, but he's not a very nice animal. And you're dead. It's as simple as that. Now we're in Kaelid. We've got this duo. We're using the Shamshir with a poisonous mist. We've got our big ant skull in our hand. It's just a great build, guys. It's a proper character build. We are the ant man. We inflict poison. I love this build. Level 30, great invasion range. It's a great character build, it's so effective. Any kind of poison at level 30 obviously is going to be mega, mega effective, but if you combine it with a really cool and interesting character, I've got a real soft spot for this guy, I love this character, he's one of my favourites. You just can't go wrong, guys, you cannot go wrong. And look at this summon, he's absolutely determined, absolutely determined to use that incantation I think I presume it's flame grant me strength but he's tried to use it only about 24 times already and I, it's just a free hit every time he does and he's not learning because he keeps trying to use it and now he's infected with my juices and the end is very near <laughs> there you go next time don't try and use an incantation when you've got the Ant-Man just rushing towards you every single time you've got to learn your lesson you know you've got to learn there's a time and a place, and that just weren't the time and the place. Now you can see here I'm having a little play with this horse. I know that he's infected with the poison, his health's ticking down. And I'm just giving him the old wiggle of justice in his face. And then one little swing, just to finish him off, put him out of his misery. It's a job done, guys. It's a good invasion. They've all been good invasions. It's just a good build. And look at this now, we're in Castle Morn and I spawned into that horrible place where 
you can't get back up to where they are so you know this could be an absolute nightmare of an invasion spot sometimes I've often used up all my bloody fingers when I invade here and then I wait for you know three hours to see if they actually finally drop down and they never do so I always end up severing out but guess what on this occasion they was just above me and they dropped down pretty much straight away so I didn't have to wait long at all um, and now we've got a really interesting little three on one going on in this little tight ledge this was a real test this was a, a real tricky invasion but we've got the perfect weapon for it with the shamshir and the poisonous mist because we can do some big area of effect um, poison you know we can we can get all the healths ticking down so we can do some work here as tricky as it is no doubt about it this is a tricky one but we can do some good work you can see there we got a nice little quick attacking to kill the first summon guard break on the horse there with the with the shield bash on the ant skull unlucky not to kill him but we're going on we're still fighting we've still got every chance to to come out on top on this invasion which was definitely quite a tricky one I'm going to let things play out in the background guys, but this is the last invasion of the video. Hope you've had a good time watching this one. Again, please let me know in the comments guys, any feedback on this video. As I said, it's the first one that I've made using the brand new editing suite on a PC. I'm still playing on the Xbox, I've not switched over to PC, I'm just using the PC to record the invasions and then edit the invasions afterwards. So, like I said, any feedback. It would be uh, really appreciated. Um, but yeah, I just hope you've had a good time watching, guys. I've absolutely loved it. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Take it easy, and I'll see you all on the next video.